handsome. You look like you've done this a time or two before. A few times, only 10 years. <sighs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance YouTube channel. I actually had so much good content from our trip to Magnuson that this is a separate video showing how a VMP supercharger is assembled and then run in on the supercharger dyno before it ever shows up at your doorstep. Miguel over here is the man that assembles VMP Gen 3Rs. So what do we got going on here? We got a shaft for the nose cover, press them together. Awesome. Bearing. Uh, if you ever changed your own supercharger pulley before, you kind of probably recognize this shaft. That's what's inside of the nose drive. There's actually a bearing and a coupler that makes it all work. And you're gonna show us how it goes together. So, first thing will be the nose cover. We use our STP. A little bit of lube right there. You wanna put it in dry. You look like you've done this a time or two before. Uh, a few times, only 10 years. <sighs> and then hub support for the bottom. Hub support, okay. Very important not to blow out the bearing or the casting. We got our, our chrome bearing. That's our top, okay, nice. Drops right in there. Here we got our 47 millimeter stick color. Nice. Bearing press. Some muscle. A little bit of muscle. Very important, double press in this one. Gotta make sure you do your double press and not. Ah, that last little bit, you gotta get that. You be out of alignment. This is our bullet seal. So what this does, was then to put our seal. Ah, okay. Very nice, very nice. 47 millimeter seal press. Light press. Nice. Just clean it up a little with some of the, whatever. Some of the gunk out of there. Seal retainer. Make sure nothing comes out of one. So, and now we have got a assembled VMP nose drive. Obviously, there's no hub on it, but it's the we're, whole nose drive. And we're about to install that. Install the hub, okay. Same thing. Same deal. Oh, this is the big, the big boy press. That's yeah. the little hand press over yeah, there. Yeah, hand press. This is our, and we use our special latte for VMP. So, let's um. Let's talk about this for just a second. In early development with the Gen 3R, we found out we were able to make so much horsepower, spin the blower so fast, make so much boost that the hub was slipping a tiny, tiny bit on the shaft. So of course, immediately, myself and the other engineers go into um, a little bit of uh, a fear for having a, we don't want to have any problems with a new product launch. So. We basically specified a higher temp retaining compound and changed the hub design a little bit to increase the engagement on the shaft. So far, that's been a great solution. We haven't seen the issue crop up again, but that's just an example of sometimes how you have to jump and respond to an issue to make sure it's never a problem for your customer. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we're getting a little black plug. Yeah, just to cover up, make it off yeah. a little nicer. Light press. So that's pretty much it. And um, we actually started selling this part uh, on our website as a service replacement. We're able to offer these if you ever damage a nose drive or if you need another one. So next we're gonna get to the coupler part. That goes on there, nice, very nice. There's an O-ring. Miguel, when we are doing testing and research and development and we have to pull rotors out of a supercharger housing, you do not understand how nice it is to have an O-ring. 
It is one less. Yeah, so it makes the assembly process a lot easier too. Yeah. Adds a tiny little bit of cost on the front end to cut that O-ring groove on the machine, but anytime you're doing assembly or service or anything later on, you don't have to use Loctite or any other sealant. And these are home no scope assembly. Very nice. Please. Very, very nice. Cool. Well, now we'll move on to uh, the housing process. And uh, this is where we already have our bearings in. So you got the bearings pressed in to the back there. The back cool. There. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put our, our uh, bypass bearings. Bypass bearings, perfect. So we got a lot of our stuff here. You got a special little driver tool right there. That was our closed bypass bearing. Now we'll put our open bypass bearing. Nice. Bypass shaft slides right in. Nice. Bypass plate. Plate, awesome. Make sure we hold that. And we put a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite, to make sure it doesn't come out. Awesome. Put those guys right in there. Nice. Now we cramp the back to make sure they don't slide out. With oh, the even with the Loctite, you want to make sure these do not come out. It's a bad day. Oh, yeah. right into the road. Perfect. Our Bypass valve, actuator. Anything you want to put blue on those? Blue on them too, cool. We got a torque spec on these. Torque spec in this one. How tight do these get? This is 108 inch pound. 108, perfect. And our last thing here will be our plug. Plug in the back. In so the let back. me talk about that real quick. So VMP Gen 3Rs have a boost reference port on the back side of the blower, it's uh, it's just a boost reference port if you need one. They do come plugged with an eighth inch MPT plug, but you can always pull that out if you need the no boost. Got a little sealant on there. Put that right in there. The actuator. Make yep, sure I was I was wondering we were gonna get to that step. That's actually a M8 set screw. Cool. So this is actually like a little tiny throttle body with a vacuum actuator mounted to it, and that is what either bypasses or locks off the supercharger so it can make boost. It's essential for that bypass valve to work right so the supercharger does not overheat. Also, so you get good gas mileage while cruising and other little stuff like that. Um, 
This whole mechanism opens and closes based on vacuum that's pulled on the uh, nipple here. And there's a little uh, bearing on that end. There's an open bearing on that end. And there's a set screw. So pretty, pretty simple, uh, pretty simple deal that is very crucial to proper supercharger operation. When we're done with the whole side, our next step will be cleaning out the inside. Okay. Clean out the outside and then uh, leaving them just like this so we can put on the rotor. Okay, okay. So we use a little bit of tri flow. Using tri flow for the okay. outside of the housing. Nice. Oh, thanks for not getting that all over me. This is like the final some of the final steps here of cleaning before the most important parts, the rotors go inside. Here, let me check out that rotor board real quick. The way these Gen 3R castings have been coming out, it is, it's kind of amazing how good of quality the aluminum casting is and how smooth and straight and free of imperfections the bores are. Um, when, when I say that, when I take a brand new supercharger apart, you can, it's almost like a mirror finish inside those boards. So it's just a real high quality casting with no porosity. So that's that's why I'm making a big deal about it. Uh, next thing we we use some lacquer thinner for the okay. Place. That's where the road will be connected to. Make sure there's no uh, oil or anything on it. Seal correct. Yeah, so that surface still does get a sealant applied to it, so it's got to make sure it's clean and dry so that stuff sets good and there's no vacuum leaks or anything. Next thing, our next process is our rotor. Rotors, okay. And the uh, first thing we do with the rotor, we're going to blow it up to make sure anything that uh, it has on it. This is a very clean facility, but we are in Southern California. It is very dry and uh, dusty in California, so they take extra precautions here to make sure that nothing gets into the supercharger. And then same thing. We same use clean up. Dinner. Okay, clean up the mating surface. Yep. Clean that all the way around. Next process is gonna be we're gonna put our our purple sealant so it can seal. Okay. And we'll just have it as a wrench and then pull it all around. Very nice. The next thing we're gonna you wanna make sure that those pins go on the bigger. Go right there. Rotors only go in one way. Yes, sir. Don't try to force it. Goes right, in. right there. You can feel the uh, rotors; they start to hit the bearings in the back, and there's a little, little spring back from the air compressing. It's always, it's always fun when I'm putting superchargers together on the bench that we've taken apart, and modified, or ported, or whatever. Our next thing will be the nose cover, and even though it has O-ring, we still want to clean that up. Just okay. To make sure, um, to make sure that a little uh, bit of lacquer thinner there. Just to clean it up. Uh, this one takes a uh, 45 millimeter bolt, 8 by 45. This one. Perfect. Get it started. Now this one goes to our 18 foot pounds. 18 foot pounds. So if you just heard that, the front cover bolts get torqued to 18 foot pounds. You know, much like a cylinder head and a bore for a piston, 
if those bolts are torqued wrong, they can put too much stress on the rotor bores and cause issues because that is a very precise clearance there between the rotors and the housing. You want to go top bottom and then side to side as well? And this is our complete build. Next thing, clean up all the axes purple, clean up the whole blower, oil, and then ready to test. You want to you wanna show them real quick how you clean it? He, I, I saw him doing this earlier on one of these superchargers that's already assembled. He actually takes a Q-tip and wipes off the extra sealant where the nose drive and the rotor plate mate to the case. And that is just like an incredible amount of attention to detail, which I just love. Get in there, make sure we get everything Get out. in there, get all the... Get all the excess junk out, and I'm I'm gonna tell you right here. This is that's actually my fault. I touched some stuff and and I spread it there. So, yeah, thank you, thank you for cleaning that up. After that gets cleaned up, whole blower gets cleaned up. Make sure it, uh, the the amount of care and precision that goes into assembling these things. I mean, it really really shows. This is the best looking supercharger case housing we've ever had. Clean everything up, okay. Same thing to the same thing to the bottom. Same thing with the axis in here. Clean oh, okay. Out. And we clean the rest of all that out as well. It takes a lot of Q-tips to clean the supercharger up. Yeah, that good. <laughs> but it's worth it. We got boxes and boxes of it. But the results are worth it. Yeah. Same thing, even though you don't see it, all this, it'll be nice to clean it up. Just leave it all nice. Well, hey, if somebody opens their box upside down and sees the bottom of the supercharger first, it's all got to look good. Yeah. Everything out of the from back every Now the only next thing to do is put oil and test. Thank you very much, Miguel. Awesome you. job. We'll keep making them. We've got many more going together here. I'm gonna take you over to the test stand in just a second and you can see where every single VMP supercharger is actually run in on a supercharger dyno before it ever ships out to a customer. 